everybody, my name's Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny. Thank you so much for joining me in my video today, which is my oh, April So Holy Jane unboxing. So I know there has been quite a lot of unboxing videos already. I'm a little bit late to the game um, because, yeah, my box for some reason had a little bit of a delay. Um, so I didn't get it until Monday. And uh, so, yes, I'm recording this on Tuesday. And uh, yes, I thought I would share the box with you. Um, I have already opened the box, <laughs> so I do know what is uh, inside already. But I always enjoy sharing um, with you what's in the box and my thoughts and things behind it as well. So if you don't know about the Soho Jane um, boxes, they are a subscription service. So you get three tiers. You can get a mini box, a classic box and a luxury box. I subscribe to the classic box. So I pay £35 a month for the box. And I think it's really, really good value for what you get in the boxes. Now, I do um, have an affiliate link um, with um, Hayley, so it is linked in the description box below. If you want 10% off your first box, if you haven't subscribed to them before, so you can get 10% off. I get a little bit of commission if you um, want to do that, but I pay for all of my boxes. Um, I just get, as I say, that little bit of commission if you sign up and use my code, which is Michelle10 at checkout. So yeah, if you are interested and you want 10% off your first box, then go ahead. So yes, let's get opening the box. And um, I think I have a little visitor. Hello. She was gonna, she's gonna jump up any moment. Are you? Yes. Oh. <laughs> so yes, this, this is Misty. <laughs> if you don't know already, she does appear quite often in my videos. Do you want the box? Yeah? Oh, tail. Oh, no. Come on. She always gets right in front of the camera. Right. Let's open up the box, Misty. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, move the camera. And yes, oh, yeah, thank you. Yes. Do you want to see what's inside? Yes? <laughs> right, if Misty will move her tail out the way, it's not very nice, is it? You're blocking everybody's view. Come on. Yes, right. Um, so yes, this is the inside of the box. <laughs> yes, I know. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? I'm sorry. It's dinner time. Come on. All right. I will try and show you this without Misty getting in the way. Right. If you stay on my lap, then you can stay in the video, can't you? Right. So yes, <laughs> there is yellow tissue paper surrounding all of the goodies inside the box. And I have to admit, when I got this box, I opened it up and there is something really, really nice smelling in the box. I was like, oh, I wonder what that is. So, yeah, I was really excited. So um, I will go through a little bit of the magazine that you get. And each box has a theme each month. And this month it is Pastel Perfection. Yes, and it, oh yes, you approve, yeah. And <laughs> I will just really quickly flick through um, what's okay, yes, okay. I don't think this is going to work, is it, Misty? Okay, <laughs> what I thought was going to be a quick video is now turning out to be ages because a certain person won't settle. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm sorry, you are settled now. Uh, so, yes, I'll just quickly flick through the magazine. You get a little introduction from Hayley, just explaining her thoughts behind the box and uh, what's in the mini classic and luxury boxes. Because the mini and classic box have the same fabric, but just different lengths. And the luxury box, usually there's like a designer fabric in there and you sometimes get a little bit more length as well. Uh, so we've got an interview with a pattern company called uh, Seasons of East. I've never heard of them before, but I believe the pattern is in the luxury box um, that they feature. So yeah, I haven't heard of them before, so I will certainly go and have a look at them to, uh, to see what they offer. And um, there is a little discount code as well for anyone who does subscribe to the boxes. And we've got a make of the month. And um, this is from Emily, who made the Tilly and the Buttons Lyra dress. And that was using some of the luxury fabric um, from one of the boxes. Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really like that. Looks great as a Lyra. 
Then we have three boxes, three makes. Now this is a section where three ladies every month get given the box in advance. One gets the mini, one gets the classic, one gets the luxury and she's off. <laughs> Sorry if I bored you Misty. And um, yeah, they all make up something to feature in the magazine. So Esther had the mini box and she made a simple so, um, Sophia, Sophia top and um, yeah I won't show you the picture because it might uh, give away what fabric is but I will show you Gemma's because Gemma used the luxury box and they had some jersey and uh, it's this lovely sort of it looks like stripes but actually when you look really closely it's lots of little dots and it's kind of in like a lilac and pink and purple and yellow it looks really really nice and then we have Laura who made um, the Sew so House 7 Burnside bibs using the fabric in the box as well. So yeah, it looks really, really nice. And then we have um, Tamlin, who is sewn on the Tyne over on YouTube and Instagram. She features every month and she does a little uh, fat quarter project. And this is a little notebook cover, which I think is a lovely idea. Really, really nice. And then as usual, you get a little step-by-step -step guide on how to create that. And then we've got uh, the So Hayley Jane subscriber profile. And it's really nice to see Adele from So For Serenity um, being featured there. Adele's got a YouTube channel and she's on Instagram. So if you haven't seen any of her videos, then do check her out. I will link her down below. Um, she's got loads of videos out now and uh, yeah, they're really, really good to watch. So highly recommend checking her out. And then we've got pattern picks from the fold line. So just giving you some little recommendations. And we've got the Makers Gallery, which is one of my favourite bits, where it just shows you what the sewing community have been making out of the fabrics from the boxes. And then we have a little section at the back here, which is about what's in the box. So it lists here what's in each of the boxes. So the mini, the classic and the luxury. And a little bit here if you want to make any notes about any projects and bits and bobs. And then the last page, I just want to quickly talk to you about these uh, these two things because first off there is a giveaway for a jeans making weekender i would love to win this um, i have put my entry in already um, so yeah if you want to get your votes in then uh, check out uh, Haley's website or check her out on instagram as well and it will tell you how to enter but yes Haley is giving away a jeans making weekender with Charlotte Newland who uh, you may know was on the Great British Sewing Bee and oh I'd love to win this as I'm sure a lot of you would because I've got in my make nine uh, sewing plans well from this year and the year before <laughs> I think the year before that um, I want to make a pair of jeans I know I've got the skill set for it um, but I just don't know what it is it's just something in my head where I just feel a little bit daunted by it and just having you know, that short sort of like workshop experience, I think would be amazing. And um, I do hope that Hayley does continue to do some of these because in her, um, like where she obviously packs up the boxes, I think she's creating a sort of workshop area where she may run a few workshops. So yeah, if they, um, if she does this uh, jeans making weekend uh, in the future, I would love to sign up for it. But fingers crossed, I really want to win this. <laughs> Um, and then uh, on this side here, we've got uh, the big sew off. And this is um, the ladies at uh, Sew Over It. They're doing a 24 hour sort of sewathon um, for a, a charity called Mind, um, which you may know is a mental health charity. So that's really, really interesting. So I would uh, go and check out any details on that if you like to on how you can help participate or donate. Um, which on here, if you uh, go on Instagram, it's uh, at the big sew off. So go and check that out as well. So that's uh, the magazine. Now let's have a look and see what is inside the box. So first off, I need to share with you about, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that when I opened the box, I was just hit with this beautiful smell. And it is some wax melts. And this is from, I I'm so bad with my pronunciation. The um, Bewley, I think that is it, Bewley? Uh, Bewley Candle Company. Um, 
and uh, this is rock salt and driftwood smell which I think might sound a bit strange but oh it smells so good and I'll just show you what the little wax melts look like oh they honestly they smell amazing uh, they are little hearts little sort of pastel pink hearts they're lovely oh they smell so good so good I love candles and wax melts and things I mean even my husband Stuart loves candles so yes he'll like those as well <laughs> And then a little sweet treat in there. We've got a couple of little chocolate uh, eggs. Obviously being Easter time, I thought that was a really, really nice little touch. And uh, yes, I'm gonna enjoy eating those. Maybe I'll give one to Stuart, I'll see. <laughs> and then there is a little uh, notion, excuse the rustling. And in here we have some safety pins. I think it's so cute how they are in uh, like size order. <laughs> that's really sweet so safety pins there I particularly use safety pins for if I'm threading quite um like narrow elastic you know through a channel or like you know threading ribbons and things like that so um yeah I'm gonna get a lot of use out of those and also these are adorable we've got a couple of pencils and they're in these lovely pastel colors so like nice uh, pastely sort of minty color and pink and they've got some lovely writing on as well. So you've got one that says, eat, sleep, sew, repeat, and one that says, born to sew. So that's lovely, really nice touch, love that. And then the fat quarters, really lovely color um, on this. Um, I am I do like my sort of like minty greens and these are really nice like sort of green colors. So we've got this one here with these sort of uh, like little zigzag um, sort of design. This one here, which is like little circles with these sort of uh, little designs inside. Really pretty. I love this one. It's lots of different colour triangles, again, in all those lovely pastel -y colours. And this one is adorable. It's got little lions and rhinoceroses and hippos and elephants. Oh, so sweet. So sweet in that lovely green and coral colour so pretty i need to um make someone um something in this like um as i've got a few friends that have babies and i just kind of think that would be so cute maybe if i made like a little hat or something It'd be really cute love that and then i've got some thread which matches the fabric so it's this lovely sort of blue color it's a gutman thread uh, color one four three and the fabric I love this fabric and um, what it was is um, Hayley put up I think on her Instagram like a little vote which was um, would you prefer you know every now and again to have a plain fabric in the box and I, I think she got like a really high percentage of people saying yes and I totally agree it would be lovely to have a plain fabric every now and again because I know and I'm sure a lot of you are the same. Um, we're very attracted to prints. <laughs> um, but actually plain is always really practical. And actually I find a lot of the stuff that I've sewn up with plain fabrics, I wear a lot. So I was so happy to see a plain fabric. And it is this. <gasps> what a gorgeous colour. Let me just move the box out of the way. This is a viscose linen. I'm so happy to see a viscose linen in the box. I've been signed up for probably just over a year and a year and a bit, I think, year and a half, something like that. I don't know, I can't remember. <laughs> and I don't think we've ever had a linen viscose in the box. And I love it. I love linen viscose as a fabric anyway. And I love this colour. Let me just open it out for you so you can see it a little bit better. So, I mean, oh, I've been banging on about this in uh, probably my last few videos, but I'm loving the sort of turquoisey, minty sort of colours. And I'm so happy I got this colourway. There was two colourways. There was this one, and I think there was like a pale green. Um, but I'm so happy I've got this lovely sort of blue colour. It's oh, just so pretty and it feels so soft. So... As I say, it's a linen viscose, so it has the, if you can see, maybe like the texture 
of linen, but it's got that viscose content making it lovely and flowy. I love it. I absolutely love it. And um, yeah, you get two and a half meters. So you can make absolutely anything you want really out of that. I love it. I'm so happy with it. Um, so a few ideas I'm thinking of is, um, I shared with you in my last video about a uh, jumpsuit that I might want to make, which was this Simplicity one, uh, Simplicity 9125. I'm thinking, how good would that look in this fabric? So I'm very, very, very tempted to make that. Um, I think it would make brilliant dungarees as well if you wanted maybe some like sort of quite lightweight dungarees. I know that um, the ones from the Tilly and the Buttons book make it simple. Um, the Safia dungarees, they would be gorgeous in this. And I think, yeah, as um, one of the ladies made in the magazine, the Burnside bibs, the Soha 7 Burnside bibs, they would look really nice as well. But you could make lots of different like trousers. Trousers in this would be lovely, actually. Maybe some nice like culottes or something. Be absolutely perfect going into uh, summer as well, because being a linen viscose, it'd be lovely and breathable as well as being lightweight. So I'm so happy with this fabric. I mean, I know it's a plain fabric, but I'm actually genuinely excited that this is in the box. I love it. Absolutely love it. So if you're watching Hayley, Thank you so much. I think it's brilliant that you put a plain fabric in because, yeah, I don't often buy plain fabrics because um, I'm so drawn into the patterns and I love the patterns. But having a plain fabric was such a nice surprise being in the box. So I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, then please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, it would be lovely if you could. So thank you again so much for watching and I'll speak to you in my next video. Take care. Bye. <laughs>